Today's discussion drills down on what's happening in Ukraine right now and how the U.S. government, particularly Congress, is working to help Ukraine withstand Russian aggression. We wanted to send a very strong, unified message that there is bipartisan support for Ukraine and bipartisan opposition to what Vladimir Putin is looking at doing, amassing his troops on the Ukrainian border on three sides of the country. We'll continue to try and do everything we can in Congress to also provide deterrence to what Putin is doing. There, is, uh, there are a number of pieces of legislation that I think help to do that. If Ukraine wants to look westward rather than, than back toward uh, what used to be the USSR, that, that's the right of the Ukrainian people to do that. And they've decided they want to be free market. They decided they want to have free elections and, uh, and, and make their own choices. They have every right to do that. And if you are uh, interested in preventing a humanitarian disaster, uh, uh, a massive refugee crisis, not only in Eastern Europe, but that spills over into Western Europe, then you're interested in what happens and in the ability of Ukrainian people and their freely elected leadership. One of the biggest deterrents we can provide to what Russia is thinking about in Ukraine is to be present a united front, um, the United States and NATO, um, the United States and our European allies. They intend to defend their country. They understand that Russia has um, more troops, a greater military capability, but this is a country now that no longer, as Roger said, looks east, it's looking west. And there isn't panic, uh, either among the leadership or, or um, in any of the indications we saw during the short time we have. I would say there's a sense of resolve. In order to access other Hindsight Up Front programs, as well as more of our scholarship and analysis on Ukraine, Russia, and the region, please go to wilsoncenter.org backslash Hindsight Ukraine.